So we're back again with the Debonair Dean on a devious plan to do something. Deeds, I suppose. Specifically, Dean said that he wants to be protected by exactly two holograms. So I guess that's what we're looking for now. Now, I know the holograms that we've seen so far have mostly been security guards or the Vera girl who sings or whatever. But I'm hoping that maybe we can get a dinosaur or something. After all, the holograms are really nothing but light put into a particular shape. So I think we should be able to get a Brachiosaurus. Although now I wonder why exactly it has to be a hologram. Why does it have to be shaped? It could just be a light weapon, couldn't it? Like, isn't a whole bunch of extra energy being wasted to make the hologram instead of just making the beam weapon that kills things? I mean, I know that the hologram is there to deter people and to let them know they're being watched, but that's like if you hire a security team and just tell them to shoot every confused old person that walks into the room. In fact, I question why the holograms even need a kill ability at all. I mean, how well do they interpret context? Because they were supposed to kill me when I just walked into that hospital. I could have been a confused sick person. You know, if this is anything like Google, I can just imagine how it is. They probably vaporize everyone they run into, and then they get up and they're all like, Oh, we did a lot of killing today. Killed a lot of criminals. Stopped a lot of crime. Killed 50 just today. Keep investing, everyone. You know, no reason to change anything. Now, I do know that some of you have been a little concerned about safety, but let me just say that we know exactly who the criminals are, we have got a great profile, we've programmed it all out, and we've removed anyone with enough money to sue us for negligence. So, you know, we're pretty confident we feel like the free market has fixed the problem. Now, that said, we're confident enough in this reality that we've updated our terms of service so that if you, if you use any of our products, then you will need to use an updated version of the murder hologram. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, that you probably don't need the murder program installed into your shopkeep hologram. But let me just say that the murder program is an sure. integral part of the hologram feature that you've purchased, and we can't separate that integration. Unfortunately, the holograms will just not be the same if they lose the ability to kill you and your customers at a moment's notice. Now, that said, I also have to regret to inform you that you will need an internet connection, because the hologram will check every 24 hours to make sure it is connected to the internet. If it finds this is not the case, it will murder you. Again, I'm sorry for the inconvenience that this causes, but it is an important feature of the hologram, and the hologram simply cannot function with this feature removed. You may notice that our terms of use thereby waive your rights to sue us for any damages caused by the Holograms Murder Program. Now, again, I'd like to point out that if you are very wealthy, you will not be murdered by your hologram, because you will likely have enough money to press charges. Finally, I should bring it to everyone's attention, especially investors, that as a sign of goodwill to large companies, we have installed a program that you cannot deactivate that will cause our hologram to seek out shoplifters and disintegrate them. Now, there is a slight problem in that our holograms cannot communicate with people, but what they can do is they can examine the situation and based on their own inferences, which are very complex, this is extremely cutting edge technology, they can determine whether or not your customers should be disintegrated. They look for suspicious behavior such as loitering, holding on to items too long without going to the front to purchase them, or being nervous about the kill holograms. Thank you, any questions? Then every single answer is some kind of ridiculous droning corporate crap. Anything anyone asks gets responded with, we feel that, or we've discussed that, or we believe. It's always we, 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 we. They never really talk about David Marketing thinks that, or Paul and Legal said that this, or that, or let's just displace all responsibility to a greater collective. The reality is probably that as soon as someone started asking serious questions about the safety of these holograms, somebody probably really did just displace all responsibility. And the fact was, they just didn't want to argue with David Marketing because Dave gets really uppity and he's really insecure. In fact, I'll probably explain most of the Sierra Madre. I mean, every single company is composed of like thousands of people, but you only know like 40 of your closest co-workers. That means that dumb opinions are in really high supply and they just rain down from all directions. No one knows where they come from, but if you argue, someone's feelings are gonna get hurt. You try to tell the lead engineer that a hologram that does nothing but kill people just isn't gonna go over well, and he freaks out, he goes, oh my god, what is this? This is a personal affront to me! Then you have to go to human resources for sensitivity training because somebody filed a report on you. And meanwhile, the apocalypse happens, and then all your ancestors are getting disintegrated by your freaking holograms. Because, you know, that's who really pays for it, is your children's children's children after the apocalypse that you kind of caused indirectly with your nuclear bombs. Well, I mean, not because of your company, but you could vote. Your vote mattered. Colorado, Florida, Iowa, Nevada, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Ohio, Virginia, and Wisconsin. I think the reason why we can all agree that I'm stuck here in this sucky place with these sucky holograms, with this sucky gas, and this sucky zomblers is because of those states. 
I might be mad at China too, but I don't know specifically who to blame over there. Think much of our chance? Okay, Dean, I turned on all the holograms. Are you gonna be okay now? You powered the holograms up. You watched me do it. Yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain. Vera kept the ghost people away. I guess so. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And I don't know. This still sounds risky to me. For me. Well, it probably kind of is, but to be totally honest, I have no idea what's going to happen, because I'm just following the random directions of a crazy old man who stripped me down and told me to do things. So on that note, I don't know why you think I'm trying to double-cross you, because if you die, my head will explode, and let me tell you, I will forgive you, but I'm going to be kind of angry when that happens. Well, yeah, you got a point. That's right, I do. But listen, when this thing goes off, Try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You wish you hadn't. Well, what am I gonna wait and find a rendezvous point with you? I think I'm just gonna make a run for it. You probably should too. But anyway, stay safe, Dean. Call me. I think we're connected by radios on our bomb collars that'll kill us both. But I sure hope everything works out for Dean and he gets all his money out of that casino. It's okay, Christine. It's just me and you, girlfriend. Let's go do a girl power. Boy, I sure am excited to hang out together. Yeah. Let's, uh, if you don't mind, I think I want to just skip out on the charades. Like, just follow me and I'll tell you what needs to... Okay, you stay over there. Do I have a weapon for you? I'm not giving you a pistol, that's for sure. Well, maybe we can find a spear along the way. Maybe on this guy up here. Most of the Zomblers are already dead, but I don't want to alarm you. I'm not a very good fighter, so I hope that you are really good at murdering things. If not, I hope you're a really reasonable runner, but not too good because both of my legs are crippled, so I'm not going to be able to keep up. But if we have to plead for our lives, let me do the pleading. After all, I seem to be the boss around here, and I'm not saying it's because I'm prettier, because both of us are pretty attractive, but apparently Elijah chose me for a reason. Since I don't have any applicable skills, I'm just going to assume cute haircut. We can probably both agree on that on account of you have technical skills, but no hair. So okay, after wandering around the Sierra Madre for 10 minutes, we got all this circuits. And now we can open this door. Which, sadly, we already figured out has a radio behind it. Out of all the things that are really annoying about the Sierra Madre, these radios are probably the most annoying. And oh god, oh god, oh god, don't blow up my head. I'm moving, I'm moving, I can't see where all the radios even are. But I'm moving out of the way, I'm just proceeding in the only direction. Fake, 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 fake. Get closed door, open up, I see you radio. This is ridiculous, there's not even anything broadcasting onto radios. You'd think that the least they could do is kill me with some kind of catchy pop song. I could have a good laugh about my head exploding while listening to Mariah Carey and... Darn it, there's nothing but poison gas down below here. Well, I have to get over there. I think, yep, there's the door. Okay. There's a pipe there. I can jump on the pipe. I can get over there. Here we go, hit... Yeah. No, 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 yes! Oh man, I am kicking all kinds of butts for having two broken legs. <coughs> Christine, I'm gonna be square with you. The place I'm taking you is freaking terrible. Oh. Hey, stim pack, clean up all that skin corrosion. Go that way, says the arrow. You know what? No, I don't think I'm gonna follow the arrow. I think the arrow is full of crap. Because everything is a trap. Dean warned me, and I kind of trust Dean. Don't trust him a whole lot, because... I, I don't know. I'll be honest, he's still Dean. And no matter how cute he is, I really shouldn't let him take an inch. So, this box is locked, but I don't see any mechanism of actually locking it on account of it doesn't really have any hinges or locks. You know, it's kind of funny how I never see any corpses around. Like, there's all this stuff, computer still on, nobody here. Oh, hey, they got records on the suits? Those new chemical suits came in today, so we could check out the ventilation chamber, see how that cloud cocktail formed. Suits are kind of creepy looking, hard to talk in them, so we had to use sign language to actually make sense of each other. At least we can check out the pipes and ventilation chambers now. Gas worries me, though. Really messed the guys up. If the chambers get backed up again, hate to see that gas get out and kill the villa. Boy, that would be terrible. The Dean said that didn't happen. So everything is okay. And yeah, I'll take more dirty water. Probably got more of it than I'll ever need, but I'll take it. Actually, I even think that these common drinking fountains I keep running into are probably worth more than the water is anyway, just because they don't take up space and they're freaking everywhere. I can drink from this sink if I want it. Oh, ammo! Freaking cool! More ammo! In the sink! And a gun! Why do they put ammo in the sink? Pretty sure they'll get wet there, and then once bullets get wet, I don't think you're supposed to use them anymore. Or at least not for, like, protecting your life, because if they don't work, 
then you're pretty sorry you used them. What even is this place, really? I mean, there's a bunch of cloud residue down here, and they were doing some research on it, I guess? But it appears to be the switching station where they do the power, so these should be engineers, not the scientists that focus on the residue. After all, you don't want your engineers to be experimenting with stuff, because that's how buildings fall down. They're supposed to use established methods to make things. Gosh, I hate this freaking radio so much. What? Battle music? Freaking laser beams! No freaking. What the heck? What did I do? Leave me alone! Turret control. Wait, there's turrets in here? Why are there turrets in the freaking power station? Who's terrible I do? Ow, 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 hot laser face, ow. This goes beyond corporate irresponsibility. This is like someone is just plain stupid. I mean, what is this? This is a freaking switching station for a civilian location. Why would you ever need a laser turret? Who signed off on this? Somebody had to come in here with like a lift or something and set up the turret and nobody said, hey, what do we need a turret in our freaking switching station for? Shouldn't there have been laws about this kind of thing back before the apocalypse? Shouldn't someone have said that there's no reason to set up a machine gun nest in a water treatment plant? Then why did they say it was okay to have a turret in a power station? I mean, oh my goodness, they certainly must not have bought that off the black market. You would think they wouldn't make big heavy military hardware like that and just sell it to civilians. You know, hey, what's this? More info about the suits? Okay. Sure, the docs at the clinic got mad, but we didn't have any choice if we wanted to get medical attention after that gas hit us. So we cut his suit open with one of those super surplus steak knife things that could cut through a T-bone like it was hot butter. The rest of us tried to pry the locks on our suits. Finally had to use the knives on ours, too. Can't wait till this job is over and we can get the, you know, get out of here. The key here, that locker, I think, that's probably going to be important. Man, I don't want to fight this stupid turret anymore. This is dumb. I can't hit anything! Yeah. No, I don't even think I'm hitting it. I think that I... I think I suck with guns. I think I suck with everything. Well, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. I give up. We'll just do whatever it is we're supposed to be doing with the turret here. Doing whatever it's supposed to be doing. If we're lucky, it might run out of ammo after shooting at us for a while. And it's not very accurate as long as you're standing behind something. Where's Christine, though? I don't see her around anywhere. So, elevator. Take me somewhere, elevator. To the upper floor. Oh, we're outside again. Hey, Christine, there you are. Well, let's check the filing cabinet. I bet there's all kinds of excitement in one of these things. There always is. Oh, a fixing things book. Okay, I don't care about that very much, but whatever. Nothing in here. Well, I'm glad we came up here. Okay, let's go back down to where we're supposed to be. Christine gesticulates at me and points at the door and says, Oh no, I need you to go do something for me, just like Dean and God. <sighs> okay, I need you to go down there, Christine. Christine says no. She doesn't like to go down there. That's bad. Okay, I'll see if I can find another way to do whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, opens your mouth slightly, then closes it, frustrated. Yep, we're both frustrated about you not being able to speak. Yep, I heart you too. So you just stand here. It seems like the turret has forgotten that we're over here, so I'll just try not to... Hello? The heck was that? The turret's still out there. Well, okay! I was really hoping it was the turret that just exploded, but... Nope. I wonder if I can sneak attack that thing. Should robots be susceptible to a sneak attack? That's kind of a strange thing. I mean, I guess it should really be dependent on their design, but you'd think that a turret would be immune to a sneak attack, because a turret is basically as susceptible as it's ever gonna be, just sitting where it's at. Oh, uh, here we go. No, oh, that was a really crappy jump. Luckily, I didn't set anything off. Too sneaky for that turret. Which is really silly if you think about it. It's not even very good at tracking people. Why did they install that thing? Oh. Darn it, the frickin' radio still up here? God, I can't sneak anymore. I hate this thing so much. I'm glad that Christine still gives the benefits despite not being here. And I didn't get spotted by the turret. Still totally blind. Well, I guess I'm gonna try sneak attacking the turret. Okay, that did some damage. It's cautious now. Do you think that a turret would be on constant cautious mode? Oh well, I guess I'll look around while I wait for the turret to drop its guard. Cool, some ammo in the corner, like as if to trap cockroaches. And an arm! It's got dynamite in it. Also stim packs. And a body! 
It's got a bunch of ammo. I really need this. This has been a really good day. Ta-da! I killed something! Five experience, wow. I am really crappy. It does not instill me with much confidence in myself at all to know that the game decided that a great triumph for me is only worth the most minimal amount of experience. I feel like when I get out of the Sierra Madre, I should go to the store and maybe buy myself a book of stickers, and every time I do something good, I'll give myself an award. And that way I'll still feel really happy whenever I make progress. Actually, stickers even sound better than experience, because the number's really abstract. Like a five? What is it five words? I don't even know. But a little unicorn sticker? That implies that my work was magical, and I did very good. Yeah, okay, activate this thing. That looks like what I want. Yes, it is. Unicorn sticker for me when I find one. Well, got a chip. So, Christine, I did this thing for you. I hope you're happy. Oh, you're still upset about the elevator. No, I did it. I did what you wanted. Great, thumbs up. That's great. Okay. So... Are we holding hands? Okay. Okay, yep, we're friends now. That's good. Uh, get ready. Yeah. Determination. You gotta... The bell tower. That's where you'll trigger the gale event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. Oh, okay. I guess I will. But that'll be next time. Thanks for playing with me, everybody.